Welcome back to Thoroughbred Weekly. Glad to be joined now by Rosie Napravnik. And uh, Rosie, uh, second uh, year here in New York for you. You finished off last year pretty well, 15th in the standings. You didn't ride here uh, all year long, so you had to be happy with that. And then you come back uh, this year, and uh, things are going well so far. Yeah, last year was a lot of work, and uh, it paid off. We did pretty well last year, and uh, I was very excited to come back this year and see how good it could get. And we just saw the winner of the uh, Busanda, Age of Humor, who you rode there, and uh, like I said before, it was a heads-up ride. Uh, you probably didn't, I don't know, can you tell when horses stumble down your inside like Anchorage did, uh, and can you, you know, make a decision there to go for the lead at that point? Yeah, I mean, she was obviously probably going to try to go to lead from the one hole, mm -hmm. so when she stumbled, it was, you know, a great opportunity for me to get over in front of her so that she, you know, had to figure out other tactics and um, you know it worked out well my filly was nice and relaxed on the lead and she was very professional for only her third start so she ran very well. You've had a, a lot of success actually in stakes for the race this year and uh, the Busanda one of them but uh, let's take a look at some of your uh, career highlights so far over 300 races won in uh, 2006 that's a good way to start off your career that was your second year riding I think? Uh, yeah that was uh, 2006 was probably you know I had the bug the first half of the year and mm -hmm. that was just a great year I mean it, we uh, I really worked hard that year too and it, that paid off as well. Now you grew up uh, as a farm girl, right? Yeah, I grew up on a farm in uh, Bedminster, New Jersey and I always did, you know, eventing and showing and had ponies and pony racing and uh, was always very uh, serious and competitive in that, so um, that's where I started out. When was your first uh, trip aboard a horse? Oh, probably before I could walk. Okay. <laughs> not, not quite sure. I, have, I definitely don't remember it. So it's something you've always been around and uh, kind of knew you wanted to do. Yeah, my mom's trained horses since before I was born, so you know she, I was riding in the womb and ever since then. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, highlights you've had so far uh, this year, going back to 2009, I should say. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, Garland and Roses. Awesome Ashley uh, here in the uh, slop at the Big A. Talk a little bit about this horse. Uh, Ashley is, you know, she's obviously one of my favorite fillies. I mean, she's just re really professional horse, and I seem to get along with her great. I mean, I've had some great trips with her. Um, we've had a lot of success, and uh, she's she's just a grinding, honest, tries hard, and you know, we I've won two or three races on stakes on her, so um, and you know, a couple of seconds. So she's she's really great. Great mare to ride. And uh, now I'll take a look at Tigger winning the uh, Gravesend uh, Handicap. And this is another race where uh, I think you made the difference on the front end here, being able to sense the slow pace, put Digger up there. And uh, Digger is a very game horse, a horse that's been around a lot and uh, fought a lot of hard battles. But uh, when he gets his way on the lead here, things are a little easier for him. Yeah, I have, I've actually never ridden him before, but uh, he when he was in Maryland, where I think he started running, um, I was beat by him a hundred times. So <laughs> I knew that he was pretty game, and he was absolutely game this day, and he really ran well. I mean, we that day, I mean, the lead, I got kind of an easy lead more than I thought I would, and uh, you know, it, you know. He, he ran a great race. You know, I'll take a look at Country Trick, too, winning a race here on uh, Thursday. Uh, I believe it was number eight horse in uh, race number six, coming from uh, off the pace here. Yeah, um, she just coming from way back and just flew down the lane, and um, she finished up well. I mean, it wasn't really a, a given winner, you know, mm -hmm. but um, she ran very well. Is there one kind of style you like that, that you think fits you best on a horse? Do you like speed horses? Do you like to come from off the pace? Does it, does it matter? Um, you know what? It's really... I kind of ride a horse the way the horse wants to be ridden instead of the other way around because the way they're most comfortable is going to be the way that they're going to run the best. So, um, you know, it, there are some horses that need to be on the lead, some that, you know, I probably my favorite style of riding is to sit right off the pace stocking, but, mm -hmm. you know, horses are horses and they're going to, you know, you, you can set them up however they want, but they're going to be where they want to be. Now, let's talk about some of your experiences before before you got here. Obviously, you uh, were down in the Mid-Atlantic Circuit, riding in uh, Maryland, uh, Delaware, probably some trips over to Philly Park, uh, I would imagine, too. Uh, how did that prepare you to, to come up to New York here? Um, New York's different from anywhere else that I've ever been, but, um, you know, I, I've just, I've always had a really great worth ethic work ethic uh, ever since before I started racing or anything like that, working on the farm, doing all that. And um, that's one thing that I think uh, people really notice is that I like to work hard and uh, I really have goals and, you know, a lot. Of, I'm very focused on what I want to do. So, um, you know, coming to New York was great. It's, it's very professional here. All the people are professional and uh, everyone's very all about business, which is what I am, so. <laughs> Now, for, for someone who's only been riding, I guess this is probably what your fifth year riding, and you seem very polished, and uh, you know, you've taken that step up uh, very, very quickly. Um, you know, there's always a lot to learn. I think, um, you know, my riding this year is, you know, ten times better than it was last year, and last year I thought it was better than the year before that, so um, I think the biggest difference is um, the, the confidence level. I, I'm riding with mm -hmm. much more confidence this year, and uh, it's showing, and I think people are noticing it. 
currently third in the standings on the inner track behind Ramon Dominguez and uh, David Cohn. Probably going to be tough to, to, to pass those two, but you have to be happy with where you are right now. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I was second to David all summer, but, um, and Ramon, you know, who's ever beaten Ramon lately? So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, it's great. I'm, I'm really pleased with, you know, how well we've done so far, and uh, I'm excited to see how, how good this meet's going to turn out. Any region is Roger Sutton. You getting, uh, getting along well with him? Yeah, I love Roger. Everyone kind of likes him. He's just such a nice guy, and uh, he's, you know, he works really hard. He, you know, he'll yell at me for coming out in the morning sometimes. What are you doing out here? It's so cold. But, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, we work well together, and, you know, he works really hard, and he's done a great job so far. So. All right, Rosie, well, thank you very much. Rosie and Pravda currently third on the uh, inner track standings, 15th for uh, to all of 2009 in New York, which is quite an accomplishment considering you probably spent only about half the year here. So keep up the good work. And uh, any horses to watch out for that, uh, that you got coming up soon? Um, uh, that's an off-the-top-of-my-head question, so I don't really have an answer for you, but um, all of them. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll keep an eye out for Rosie for sure when we come back.